Listen up, maggot. You're in the Worms Army now. Revolution continues the long line of turn-based tactics where angles and velocities rule the roost, and little squads of worms use weapons to annihilate their opposition. There's some new bells and whistles here mixed in with the earthworms and night crawlers, but its core of war remains unperturbed despite the title. I wonder if he'll be so cocky when you show him his own heart. On the single player side, Worms serves up a campaign narrated by an imaginary wildlife documentarian, chocked full of English euphemisms with a dash of Monty Python, that click with yucks less often than it should for its verbosity. The scenarios unfold at an inchworm's pace, starting with a slapdash tutorial that over-explains some elements and leaves others a mystery. The in-game turns can be glacial as well, with the AI's consternation over its next move often feeling like watching paint dry. In general, the AI can be bewildering. Expect some artificial stupidity early on, blended in with an occasional grenade toss that would make a bocce ball master blush. There's an escalation of smarts as you progress, turning the later missions more into combat puzzles than grand sorties. The game actually has an enjoyable, if unforgiving, puzzle mode as well, which forces you to think outside the box when it comes to your munitions. Some mid-puzzle saves would have been nice. Playing with other people, on the couch or online, with everyone on an even playing field, is where Worms shines. Watching someone march their worm to the edge of a cliff, take aim, and then jump instead of firing is pretty funny and makes it hurt less when you do the same thing yourself next turn. Watching a human player waste time on their turn is infinitely more agreeable than sitting there while the CPU crunches numbers. The additions to the Worms cannon do little to change the fundamentals while adding wrinkles for strategic tuning. There's the ugly blob-like water that doesn't flow as much as drip, which can be used to drown worms. New classes of worms offer varying degrees of speed and vitality, and a measure of customization for how you want to outfit your squad. There's classic mode for purists that brings it back to the basics, with no water or classes, and a deathmatch mode that lets you tinker with the new stuff. Fort mode, meanwhile, is for those who want an elongated setup conducive to trench warfare. All modes let you add players to the match, as well as fine-tune the maps. Scrambling for some mysterious, hilarious weapon harbored in a crate, landing an impossible shot, or carving out the land for an assault continues to be what makes Worm's game of destructible chess worthwhile. It's easy to write off the single-player campaign, but the heart and soul of the multiplayer stays the sure and steady path. It may not be advertised revolution, but this long-going war is one worthy of enlisting in. I take my leave. See this and other GT shows and game reviews on the GT Originals iOS app, available now on the App Store.